We didn't know it then, but it was the start of a legacy. A minimal Nike branding, a second championship, and some fun with a guy named Bugs Bunny. This is the Air Jordan 7 and the story behind the shoe. When Tinker started designing the Air Jordan 7, he already had a lot of success with the visible air unit that appeared on the Air Jordan 3, 4, 5, and 6. However, the year was 1992, and it was time for a change, so Tinker did away with it. In its place, we saw a dramatic shape change in the midsole that apexed in its place. And since we are talking about the midsole, the translucent outsole was gone as well. Where Tinker had been inspired by planes and cars for the last two models, this time he looked to a part of the world for inspiration. At the time of the Air Jordan 7, Tinker was also part of the team that created the Hirachi, so it only made sense that he would bring some of those performance elements into the shoe, along with the West African tribal influence of the aesthetic of the shoe. For starters, the Air Jordan 7 was lighter than the past Jordan models, and a lot of the padding we saw on the Jordan 5 and the Jordan 6 was cut away, especially near the ankle. In essence, it was a minimal version of the Jordan line. For color choices, Tinker leaned on the West African tribal culture, which resulted in a distinctive look on the tongue. Like the lace locks we had seen on the 5 and the 6, Tinker added small details that helped the Jordan 7 stand out. The heel features plastic arrow shaped pieces that sat behind the number 23. A stitched jump man was added to the ankle and the Nike logo was removed from the exterior of the shoe. Though the rest of the upper kept the shape of the Jordan 6, including the panels, the inside included a neoprene sock liner that reflects on the design influence of the Hirachi series I mentioned earlier. On the marketing side, Nike actually left Mars Blackman behind and opted for Bugs Bunny instead. This helped establish the Hair Jordan name for the white, light, silver, and true blue colorway and possibly could be the inspiration for the Space Jam movie. On the court, Mike continued to dominate his opponents. He won his sixth straight scoring title, made first team all NBA, first team all defense, his seventh consecutive all-star appearance, league MVP, finals MVP, and his second NBA championship. Oh yeah. And he also played on the legendary Dream Team and won his second gold medal in the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona. And speaking of Barcelona, Nike put together a special version of the Jordan 7 for Mike for the Olympics that featured his Olympic jersey number 9 on the heel instead of the number 23. It is the start of a legacy. It marked a change in design language and helped to show that Mike was after more than just one championship ring. It mixed style with performance and gave us a bigger look at how Nike created premium product for incredible athletes. This is what makes this shoe so special. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is the Air Jordan 7.